Hello students, today in this tutorial you'll learn how to create a simple bar graph in an Excel spreadsheet using data that you've collected from your experiment. You'll also learn how to give your chart a title and how to label your axes. So first, we need to make sure that the data that you need is in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and enter some data from our experiment. Okay, so you notice I've entered my data. Also, you'll notice that I'm using the average times. You guys did trials, and then you calculated your averages. So for this, these purposes, all we need are the average times, okay? So once we have our data entered in, now what we need to do is go ahead and highlight the data that you want to put in your graph. So we'll go ahead and highlight this section right here. Then you're going to go to the Charts tab up to the top click on that and then we're going to select column so once we select column we're going to use the 2d version of a simple column chart or a bar graph uh, the cl clustered column so you select that and once you have that selected it creates our graph for us over here next we're going to enter our la labels and titles so we're going to do the title first so what we want to do is come up here to chart layout select chart layout and then it's gonna say chart title so we hit the drop down on chart title and we're gonna put title above chart so you select that and then you're gonna go in here and type in your title and we'll call this um, paper helicopter Times. After you've done your title, you want to go ahead and put a label on your x-axis and your y-axis, so your y-axis and your x-axis. So you're going to go back to the top, chart layout, make sure that's selected, and we're going to go to where it says axis titles. So we click on the drop down, we're going to put a title on our horizontal axis, select the title below axis option. So once we select that, access title, and this we'll call types of helicopters. All right, and that's finished. And then we'll go back to select our chart. And we'll go back to chart layout, go back to access titles, and now we're going to do the vertical, vertical title. Um, rotated title is fine. Select that. I'll come in here, and this is time, and we put the unit in seconds. All right, and once we're done with that, our graph is complete, and then you can copy and paste this graph into your Microsoft Word document for your lab report. Hopefully, this helped you out. If you have any further questions, you can leave comments below the video or email me. Thanks.